Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel of Sweet Seller Sketches, and today I am going to be doing an Okuku Marker review, and the subject for today's drawings are going to be these two OCs. I'm finally, finally doing a Drawing Your OCs video again. I know it's been, like, forever. I'm sorry, I've just had a lot of crazy stuff going on, so we're gonna do an Okuku Marker review. I have been waiting my whole entire life for this, for this very moment. So excited, so let's just get right on with it. So for this review, I'm gonna start with the actual box of it. Something I really like, oh, sorry, there's a cord in the way that's not supposed to be there. Something I really, really like about this is that it has like these little clips on it that you can like take on and off, but I'm not gonna take it off right now because I don't really want to. It has like a handle, it's like a little purse and I'm sorry, it's like this entire thing will not fit in screen. It's huge. I got the 120 brush marker set, oh my God. God, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, there's so many colors, and I got a pretty color. Sky blue, I like sky blue. Oh, look, 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 can you see that? Like, the, the letters are, like, silver and, like, shiny. It's like a mirror, it's like perfectly mirror, mirror, mirrory? Mirror, mirror, mirrory, mirroring? I don't know. It's really, really pretty, I really like that. I think that's a nice detail. Something about these markers, they do have these little notches on the end of the cap to make sure that it doesn't roll away from your desk, and also, I don't know what I just did, but oh my god, it fits on the other side. The little, like, green... Did I just say green? Has the little gray ring around the edge with the brush marker. Like, I am so excited. I'm, like, shaking right now. Oh my god, I have been waiting for this moment for, like, ever. It has a brush nib. Oh my god, it has a brush nib. And it is so beautiful. And I'm so excited to test these out. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a heart attack. If I haven't already. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Okay. Oh! Oh. That, that's that's kind of a shame. Actually, no, I remember this little blending underneath sheet, bleeding sheet. Every single review I have seen with people doing stuff like this has had this. And the bag, well, it's been bent every single time. So it's kind of making me think they just shoved it in there. And that's not very nice but also these were not in this color order when i got them they were randomly just like thrown in there and i had to get them out all by myself and put them back into order this isn't even in like the correct correct order this is just me trying my best Ooh, there's more stuff whoa they literally okay 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 i forgive them for the ble bleeding sheet because they gave me my own swatch sheets oh my god I, one of the like least favorite parts for me getting new supplies is swatching them, making my own swatch sheets. I hate making swatch sheets. It's like the most boring, stupid ever. I just, I hate it. So this is like, this is nice too. Like this is nice paper. Like, <laughs> that's funny. These are, th this is so nice that they included this. Like this is awesome. I, this, this just, bumps it up like 10 billion more points in my opinion. Oh, they also have swatch sheets on their own, like their computerized swatch sheets. It's probably not going to match 100% to like the swatch sheets that I make. Oh my god, I'm so excited. They have an entire pamphlet. Oh, and one thing about these markers I really, really like. Let me flip it the right way. Is it on this side? Yes, here it is. The reversible brush nib. If one of them like gets flat like this one is, like at the tip it's a little bit flatter, you can literally pull out the nib and flip it around. Whoever invented that idea, may I just say, you're the smartest person in the world. Like, how could anyone else think of that? That is so smart. They get to look at the colors and stuff, and then we're gonna start drawing people's OCs, and congrats to them for being picked. I mean, I don't know what to say, so let's just go. All right, so getting started with the swatch sheets. This is so cool that they have this. This is, this is just so high quality. I really hate swatching. And I already said that, but I, I said I don't make swatch sheets. I don't like swatching and I don't like making swatch sheets, but I have to do it. It's a part of the review, so... Mm, it's gonna be a speed paint for you. For me, it's gonna be a long time, so I'll see you in a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna use their little thingy-majigger for this, because I don't know what kind of paper this is and I don't know if it's gonna bleed. It is still bent, but it's better than nothing, so 
let's move on to the next color. Please, 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 please be afraid of you. Oh, yes, I do not have any light purples, and this is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. E -e. Go back in the case. <laughs> almost that, all of them almost just fell out. How How is that purple? That color's name is pale purple. How is that purple? Am I hallucinating? That, that, that's not purple. That is not purple. Okay, okay. That, that's fine. That's fine. It was one color out of 120 plus a color of splendor, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Only one left. Come out. Okay. Come, come, come. Almost all of them just fell out. Okay, okay, okay. Need the last one. Come to me. Ooh, it's a nice black. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna fix this and make sure that nothing falls out. So, like, I'll be right back. Just spent the last 10 minutes talking about this and about the swatch sheets. Now I'm gonna have to do it all over again because instead of pressing the video record button, I took a picture. These are the swatch cards. I would just like to say a few things. A lot of the colors look exactly the same. No one, no, no one can tell me that these three colors look different. These are the, the, the look the, exactly the same. Also, these two look exactly the same. These two look exactly the same. These three are very close. This one is close to those two. These four grays are like exactly the same. These two are exactly the same. All of these reds are like basically exactly the same. These two oranges barely have any difference in them. These three are like exactly the same. These three are very close. Hmm. It makes me really sad because I know a lot of companies do this. Uh, like it's not like they're trying to do it, like trying to be like, oh, if we just put the same colors and different names on it and then we can just save a lot of money. It's just, I would much, much, much more prefer having more skin tones or something like that other than having three of the same exact blues. It, it makes me really angry when I see companies do this and I just, uh, I, it, it needs to be fixed. I hate it. I hate, hate, hate it when companies do this. Like, I, like, there, there's very bright pinks in this and I would have loved it if there was like a very, very pastel pink, like this very, very pastel green over here. I love that pastel green. I love it. It's called Spectrum Green if you, if you were wondering. I wish that they had not done that. Like, these two dark reds, I'm great, I, like, I'm really glad that they have dark reds, but they're exactly the same exactly the same and these two pinks exactly the same these three pinks are specific suspicious sp susp suspiciously suspiciously the same like just the th <sighs> it makes me really sad and I'm just, uh, but anyways, moving on to a happier note. I am drawing a Nova. This OC, she will be somewhere on the screen. I'm drawing Nova. It's a very, very colorful character. And I thought a col colorful character would be more fitting for a video like this because I am going to be using an entire thing of markers, which means I'm gonna be using a lot of colors. So I did pick a character with a lot of colors. And yes, I did pick this character. And my next character is a little bit more of pastel characters. It's a character from Turtle underscore Sketches, one of my friends. I do not remember her name at the moment, but it'll be over here on screen or something like that. But yeah, I already started sketching Nova when I was doing the last recording, which I accidentally took a picture instead of pressing the record button. So I'm just gonna continue sketching Nova, and I actually really like this character design, so I'm really excited. So let's just go. I started sketching at Nova and I actually had a really hard time with her pose. As you can see, I did her legs over and over again and I kept on trying to change it and um, I don't know why, but lately I've been getting a lot of characters and drawing a lot of characters. I have angel wings. Is that a thing for me now? Is, is that a thing? I don't know, but this character did have angel wings. They were purple. I thought they were adorable. I don't know if this design is supposed to be like cute or like cool but I think it's both I think it's wonderful and I actually really really like it so uh, <laughs> one thing I would change about it though is the colors are so bold and so bright and they're all like the same tone that I would like give more of the colors uh, either a pastel or a more harsh dark look like her hair right now you're like oh yeah that's pretty pastel um when I start adding more colors later for the shading it does end up looking a little bit darker than it 
like you know, a little bit darker and everything just ends up looking like the exact same tone so my advice for the person who made this not trying to be like if you you've done this wrong you you terrible person no i'm not trying to be like that um it's just that some of the tones if you were to turn this to grayscale it would probably look like exactly like they were all exactly the same color i just think you need to tone up and tone down to try and get some contrast in between different colors but that's your choice maybe you wanted all the colors to look exactly the same tone i don't know but one color i noticed that wasn't in this drawing was blue and so i used that blue for the background but you'll see that in a little bit i really do like her dress and oh my gosh her skin it scared me so much she has very dark gray skin and i don't i don't color skin in very dark colors very often so it was really new for me to do it like this and yeah i, I was really stressing over the skin but i did get it in the end and i think it looks okay i don't know i really should be judging myself on that but yeah say anything like good like i like this let's move on to the next one or even like talk about the one before or film anything about it but i like the way that one came out let's move on to the next one um i really do okay i spent a long time on this pose because i really wanted to get it right because i don't really draw many like action poses that often and I got a ninja so I really wanted to draw a ninja in a ninja pose so you know I did that I'm really sad that I like covered up her face usually for like drawing other people's characters I try not to cover up their face but for this pose I it, her arm needed to be there so I don't really mind it that much I hope they I did finish the sketch for this it doesn't look completely it doesn't look completely done but I think I have the gist of it and I'm gonna start lining it is morning so I might sound a little bit bleh I really like it, so I'm just going to get started doing the liner. Alright, so I just finished the liner for it. Um, we had a little bleedage, but that was my fault. I accidentally spilled some water right here, but other than that, we're going completely fine. It's going to be easy to cover up since this color is a dark color, and then we can just go around it with white gel pen, so I'm not really that worried about it. If it was the whole thing, I would have just died, but it's alright now, so I'm just going to start coloring and stuff so let's go all right on to the coloring the actual interesting part of this review i started with the skin which is what i try to start with most of the time because usually i do like skin colors and lighter tones uh, i just i i'm not good at drawing or coloring with darker skin tones it's really hard for me so i don't really do it that often but um <laughs> then i started going in with this like ribbon that's tied around her waist I don't know what it's called, if there's like a specific name for it, it's just a bourbon that's tied around her waist. And it was this like dark maroon color, and I also used that maroon color for like the wraps that are around her knees, and also her feet. I couldn't see in the reference picture that they sent me if like what the feet looked like, so I just came up with something random, and it probably doesn't even look anything like it what it's supposed to be like, so I'm sorry. But I really do like that, the, the knee right there i'll be zooming in on it I, I like that knee i don't know why i just think it looks really nice her legs are a little bit long but that was 100 percent my fault so that sucks and i started going in with like her jacket coat part and i made it like this cherry red and for the highlights i used like a lighter like orangier red is that like it's it's like a very orangey red is it's kind of like vermilion but i don't know if that's the name of the marker probably not but yeah, I used that cherry red for the pants and the jacket, and I think it looks really nice with her hair, which is, uh, like, this muted, like, 
muted purple and I really like it with it like the with the maroon and with that cherry red I think it looks really nice it's a, more of a contrasting color it's very light and very muted and it, it just looks a lot better than if it had been like a dark brown or something although I wouldn't mind a dark brown it just looks a lot better in my opinion People have been asking me what my heart and three S's means. That's like my YouTube signature where it's like Sweet Sailor Sketches, the three S's, the three amigos in a heart because why not? It's in a heart and it's just three S's. It stands for my name and it's just my signature. I also put at Sailor underscore sketches on it every single time. Even if it is like, if you, even if I don't even post it on my Instagram, I haven't been posting on there in a while and I said I was going to take a little bit of a break. So I'm probably not going to post on there for a while, but if you want to, you can go over to my Instagram. That's also where you can um, ask me if you want like for a commission and stuff and we'll get it figured all out trust me i've done a lot of commissions so far and they've all gone splendidly um i'm starting on the coloring of her hair and this is like the muted purple i was talking about when you first lay it down it doesn't really look that muted but once it dries it it, it turns a lot more muted and i really really like it uh, she had a lot of hair, so it was a nice way to fill up that empty space that was going to be there if there was no hair that long. Also, I know her design didn't have a sword, but I added a sword because I thought it really needed it for the pose. I wasn't just going to have her jumping out of nowhere, so I gave her a sword, and Turtle underscore sketch said it was fine that I gave her a sword, so that's alright. I started doing like the shading for the hair and if you have been watching my videos recently or you actually went to my live stream that was well for you guys a few days ago but for me it was yesterday um I have been trying to figure out a new way to shade hair because I'm really not that good at it so I've been trying to figure out that and by the way I'm going to be live live streaming every day I have left of my break because I have a lot of time on my hands and I find myself doing nothing when I could be doing other things um, so yeah, I'll be streaming every single day for one more week for you guys, but I've been streaming a few days before that for you guys also, but if you do want to see my streams, I will be posting them 3 p.m. Central Time. Everything that I will ever post will be 3 p.m. Central Time, so if you just check at 3 p.m. Central Time, whatever time that is for you guys, or you know, like after, you will be able to see stuff if I ever do post. It is at 3 p.m. Central Time. If you're wondering why I'm not giving a review on the markers right now, I'm going to slit in a clip after this last part, that is after the voiceover part, and tell you how what I feel about these markers, but... Okay, so I just finished this drawing. I actually really like it. I never ever get to use reds because as well in my last set of markers, I didn't have any reds. Like I had two reds, but they dried out so quick and I had one darker shade of red that wasn't really that good with the other two reds. So I didn't really use reds as much. I have a few reds and I have this like cherry red, which is what I used for like the medium shade of the pants and I actually really like it. So I really like that. And I really love the design for this. I really, I just think that the purple hair and the red suit just, they look so good together, especially since the purple isn't like very, very bright. It's like a little bit more of a muted purple. And I'm really lucky that I actually had a color in this Ohuhu set that was a little bit more of a muted purple instead of being like, boom, purple. But I really do like this and I hope that Turtle underscore sketches likes it too. I will have his channel linked below. And yeah, the final judgment. Do I recommend these markers? These beautiful, very stylish markers, do I recommend them? First, let's go through the pros and cons of the markers, and then I will tell you if they, as Nerdy Crafter would say, are worth your cash, or if they go in the trash. So let's start with the pros. Let's start on a more positive note. They're super duper affordable. There is no avoiding the fact that they're really affordable. They they were $99.99, which is $100 by the way, but I just, I used a calculator, so I just divided it by that because I'm fancy. They have 120 plus color splendor, so I counted it as 121. 121 divided by 99.99 cents comes around 83 cents per marker. That is so good compared to Copics, even Copic Chows. These are like four bucks per marker, per marker, and these are only 83 cents per marker. It is so much, it's just such a good deal. You cannot go around that fact, all right? One of the cons, 
The name of the actual color is not on the base of the marker, so if you have both of the caps off, you aren't going to be able to tell which color is which, and I think that's a really bad thing because I know a lot of artists take, like to use both sides of the nib, but it's not really like a problem for me since I like literally only use the brush nib. It could be a really bad thing to accidentally switch up all your markers because of that, so just keep your eyes out for that. Let's go to a pro. Has like It has both vibrant colors and muted colors, like that muted purple I was using earlier. I really like that color, but it also has like bright pink and bright green. It has very, like it has very much hue range, not tone range as like one of the cons which I'm about to say is a lot of them are the same exact color. I really hate this, the fact that a lot of them are the same exact color because we could have gotten so many different colors without the company having to make five exact, like five reds look exactly the same. So that really bugs me but it's not really that big of a deal in the end. So 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 many colors even with the matching. Like even though that they have the all the blues that look the same, all the reds look, look the same, there are a lot of colors in this set. There are a lot of muted, there are just a lot of different colors, even with the matching, so that's a pro. Not enough skin tones, and I know they have a lot, like, they actually have a set for skin tones, but they only included, like, one or two, like, actually usable light skin tones, and only, like, one or two actually usable darker skin tones. They didn't really provide a good medium one, I mean, they provided, like, an okay medium one, but there is not a tan color in here, so it just... They could they could have replaced one of the blues that look exact that looks exactly the same with more skin tones in my opinion. Ugh, that just that bugs me so much though. No the names are on the caps, which is really nice. I like companies that have like the number and the name. I think it's just like it adds a nice little touch to it. A con, no refills. There aren't any refills for this, but correct me if I'm wrong, this would be a pro. Um, I think they started selling their markers individually because I went to their website one time and they like they had their markers on like just a picture and they were like, uh, I don't know, like a dollar or something. And they were selling their markers individually. I do not know if that is correct. I might have been just dreaming, but I think that they started selling their markers individually. Correct me if I'm wrong, because if I'm wrong, then it's a con as well that you have to buy an entire another set just to get one marker or a few markers that you liked. Pro. There are no streaks. These markers are so juicy that, like, there are no streaks, but actually there's one more con. It is so juicy that there tends to be a lot of bleed out, and I have to use my white gel pens a lot to correct a lot of mistakes outside of the line art, but other than that, the juiciness is just wonderful. Were these markers worth it? Would I recommend these to beginners? To professionals? Yes. I think they are 100% worth it. Even though they do have a few cons, they aren't really that much of a big deal in the end. They are very affordable compared to a lot of other brands. Like, I like it just blows my mind how affordable these are. I know I'm saying affordable like a million times, but they really are very affordable. They do offer sets as pastel and skin. As I was saying, they don't have very many skin tones. They also don't really have very many pastels, but they do have separate sets. Specifically for that purpose, so I shouldn't be complaining about it too much. I think I'm moderate with alcohol markers They are like literally the only thing I use but I think I'm like, moderate with using them And I would recommend these for any any art skill level at all if you're just beginning or if you are advanced I would seriously 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 recommend these because they are so much cheaper than Copics not trying to diss you Copics But it's a lot better for getting a large amount of markers at one time without having to literally break the bank. I am going to do a video in the future comparing Ohuhu's versus Copics, so that's why I'm not really mentioning Copics that much in this video. I'm gonna do like a Ohuhu versus Copic. Which one's gonna win? So I'm gonna do a video like that in the future, so keep your eyes out for that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I think these are worth your cash. I do. I would not throw these in the trash. <laughs> Nerdy crafter. <laughs> not trying to be weird, but like these markers are very worth it. Like, joking aside, these markers are very worth it. Even, like, just the thought of, like, a younger person getting these markers and, like, their parents not having to, like, spend, like, a thousand dollars on Copic markers. I just think that these are so, so, so worth it compared to a lot of other brands. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to check out my last video, which was drawing my birthstones. What was that? The door just shut. Hmm, wonderful. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, turning on the notification bell to all. And I will see you guys next time, 3 p.m. Central Time, U.S. and Canada. Remember to check out my live streams that are going to be going up for the next week. Um, I will not be streaming on Sundays. As you can tell, I'm already uploading a video, so I don't think I need to do that. So remember to check out those every day for the next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!